Hey guys, it's Loud Guys. Today we are going to watch how Air Force pilots fly the controversial 90 million dollars A10 Warthog. So like this is done by Insider Business and we are seeing a lot of videos of Insider Business and they make very good videos and they are very very detailed about it. So like I have also seen a lot of videos or uh, there are some videos that I have seen of A10 Warthog and this is a fantastic plane and the capabilities of it are compared to none and it is there to safeguard all the you know the foot soldiers but yes this is something I think so this will get us to know more about it like what the A10 capability are and how the pilots flow it uh, like fly it and how everything works uh, behind it so I think so this might be a very very good video because they have been known to make such good videos about army and we have seen that army boot camp videos also of theirs so let's see what will be there in this video and we are so much familiar about the aircrafts we are familiar about the jets we are familiar about the missiles so much but we are not you know that much familiar about the pilots that how does you know they fly the uh, fly these aircrafts and in these videos we are going to watch this and i hope this video uh, from this video we are going to understand a lot of things about the pilot and especially what i really like about these videos when the you know some person tell us about their experience in the video so that is the best part for me because that part is always so inspiring and it's always motivates you and it always make you feel like that if i can do if i can achieve uh, something in my life uh, i can you know fly in the air like this if i can uh, achieve this position in my life then why can't you so these kinds of videos are these parts are the uh, are always special for me and for seriously these are so motivating for me so yeah i'm so much excited to watch this video and for sure this video is going to be very interesting so yeah, let's watch the video mm, we'll get to know much more details about the a10 warthog our special plane so let's watch this video Whoa. This is the A-10 Thunderbolt II, more commonly known as the Warthog. Warthog. The Air Force uses the A-10 for close air support, missions that require the plane to fly low to provide cover and assist ground troops in battle. Mm. So our whole mission in life and our whole job in life is to take care of the men and women on the ground. It's the only thing we think about, it's the only thing we train to, it's the only thing we talk about, and it's exactly what this airplane is built to do. But these pilots may be among the last to be trained to fly it. Why? The last? For years, the Air Force has considered retiring the A-10 in oh. favor of the newer F-35 fighter jet. And that might finally be happening with Congress approving the Air Force's plan to phase out the A-10 over the next five to six years. Oh no. But the public debate over the need for the A-10 continues. So what will be the way for A10s low ground support? are as much as 50 years old, F-35s cost about 60 million more per aircraft and weren't built solely to support ground troops. There may be a day that I am called to potentially help save someone's life when they're having the worst day of their life. That comes back to my training and making sure that I know what I'm doing in the jet. So how vital is the A-10? Mm. And could the Air Force soon be without one of its most iconic warplanes? Mm. Wow. So the only base that A-10 pilots train at is at davis Mothin Air Force Base. Before they fly the A-10, pilots train in the T-38 Talon during their initial flight training in Texas. They fly completely different uh, based on their flight performance and characteristics. The T-38 is kind of like a sports car. It's quick, it's agile, it's fast. But the A-10 drives more like a Cadillac. Cadillac, oh. After graduating from flight training, new pilots move to their assigned posts. Really like the mission of the A-10. I mean, thought it was super cool. I like the idea that it doesn't matter what I'm doing, that I'm strictly there for people on the ground. Mm. It looks like a if big you look story. at it, not the most attractive looking plane, if you will. Uh, it's pretty, pretty ugly. No, it's not ugly. Wings. It's yeah, got, you know, it big Hershey bar it wings on it scary. for like added stability. So it's, it's just but a not mean ugly. looking airplane and that's ultimately like what a warthog is. He what sound does the A-10 make when it fires? 
You know, like bird, bird, bird. And that's actually just the noise of the bullets exiting the barrel. This is the Gow 8 Avenger. It's a 30 millimeter Gatling gun. It's built by General Electric. And this is the largest Gatling gun ever built and put into an airplane. So it's got, uh, it's seven barrels. It shoots at a maximum rate, about 3,900 rounds a minute. There's almost no target that the Gow 8 is not a valid weapon uh, to use against. As we go around, the titanium bathtub is one of the features designed specifically to protect the pilot in the airplane. So this whole panel right here, where you see these giant Phillips head looking fasteners, that whole panel is titanium so you can, you can hear all these are, are hollow aluminum, and that's rock solid titanium Ooh, right there. Wow. This was one of the first fighter types that incorporated that into the design of the airplane. And it's the only one I know about that has a full bathtub encompassing the pilot. Uh, behind this panel right here, this is our single point refueling system right here. So pull that cap off uh, and fill the airplane up with fuel. Uh, we have four fuel tanks for a total of about 11,000 pounds of gas. If I'm topped off, I can fly for about three hours. And then once you three add in aerial refueling, uh, we can fly pretty much indefinitely. And then as you're looking towards the back of the airplane, you can see we have a lot of hard points, uh, a lot of weapon stations on the airplane. There's 11 in total. In between those, we can carry up to 16,000 pounds of ordnance on those 11 weapon stations. This is a Mark 82 bomb body, so a 500 pound bomb body, just a, a blast and fragmentation type weapon that you drop it, it's unguided on impact, and it detonates. Oh my This God. is a uh, GBU-31. This is a 2,000 pound bomb with a GPS guidance kit on the back of it. So it's a, a coordinate seeking weapon, meaning I, I can input a GPS coordinate and that's exactly where that weapon's gonna go. Oh my. But how does the A-10 stack up to the F-35 meant yeah. to replace it? That's the important question. Supporters of the F-35 say it has a huge stealth advantage but detractors say it doesn't have the durability the A-10 does thanks to features like the titanium bathtub. So you can build that Another in F-35, no? is how F-35 pilots are trained. Insider reported that according to a 2022 training memo, no F-35 pilots are required to execute close air support training simulations in 2023 or Whoa. 2024. For A-10 pilots, close air support is at the center of their training which starts here in a virtual reality simulator lab. Oh, wow. So they're gonna start off in the VR lab and that's gonna give them the sight pictures and the references on the ground and the references in the aircraft for the first time. Oh, this is so nice. So simulators are extremely important. They're able to practice everything in a safe environment with you know professional instructors before they get out and actually fly them on their own. Students familiarize themselves with the A-10's control panels and starting procedures before moving on to the flight simulator. We're going to open our air-to-air -air refueling door at this point. He was doing aerial refueling. It's a mission that the students actually perform in the aircraft pretty early in their training pipeline. Historically, without this lesson, it's usually taken about 10 to 15 minutes of talking to the students through getting a successful hookup in flight. Whereas now that we're able to have them practice with this lesson, hmm. they go out on that first flight having already done it before. Oh, we wanna wow. Make sure, we wanna take a look at our airspeed as we're in formation with the tanker. Now the feedback we're getting from instructors is that they're just going right up to the boom and they're getting their hookup on their first try. Wow. For the VR sim, you're getting the muscle memory. Um, so the first time we practice it in the jet, we know physically what we're doing with our hands and uh, we know where our eyes should be, where we should gauge, and then our IPs are helping us fine tune those things. After spending a month in the simulator and learning the basic operations of the aircraft, pilots begin flying training missions in the A-10. Captain Lindsay Mad Johnson has five years of experience flying the A-10. Mad Johnson. Today, she's training for a new role to be a pilot on an A-10 demo team where she will highlight the capabilities of the Warthog. I am about two hours shy of 1,200 hours in the, in the A-10 itself. They Whoa. call it like a crawl, rock, run uh, process. So I did it in the sim multiple times. Then we go out to the airspace for my first time with a floor, not actual floor, but a simulated floor of 5,000 feet AGL. And then I go here, 2,000 feet AGL, 1,000 feet AGL. Above and ground. Then 500 feet AGL until I got through my first certification. 500 feet only? 
After Johnson completed a few rolls and dives, she moved on to simulating a strafe, which is an attack on enemy ground forces, a technique used in close air support operations. So when we do close air support, we are egressing, as they say it, from uh, in front of the target area. I'm going out about you know two, two and a half miles away at about 500 feet, and then I'm turning back around this way. And as I'm about just outside of a mile, I'll pop to about 30 degrees nose high, which allows me to get high enough to be able to see there is what would be designated as the friendlies and what would be designated as the enemy on the ground. Oh, nice. And but then this as looks I very cool. Acquire that out over my canopy rail, I'm then rolling in using both ailerons. My throttles are already in max. I'm rolling in and then I'm putting basically my nose position down on what we consider to be like a 20 degree wire. So rather than flying straight and level, I'm 20 degrees nose low towards the ground. I learned about the A-10 growing up. I knew I wanted to do something kind of to pay homage to, to my dad's time and service. I was young when September 11th happened. I was nine and he deployed two months after September 11th happened. That kind of stuck with me and I knew I wanted to do something that was going to give back to my country as well. Nice. The A-10 debuted in combat in 1977 making it just shy of 50 years old, which is one reason many want it to be retired. It resembles with the wave. For years, the Warthog has been the subject of debate between the U.S. Air Force and Congress. It should not Some be banned, no. Air Force it should not be have suggested out of retiring the A-10 to focus on developing more modern aircraft, oh. like the $80 million F-35. More why would you want to retire the least expensive, most accurate close air support system? Yes. I don't want to retire, Senator, but the Air Force has to get bigger to do all this. But Congress has fought those requests due to the success of the A-10 in recent conflicts with ISIS and the Taliban hmm. and the plane's overall cost efficiency. It's tried and true. It's very rudimentary with the systems that it has, but why fix something that's not broke? It's been in every conflict that the United States has been in since Bosnia, Grenada, pretty much every contingent that, that the United States has been a part of, the A-10 has been pretty much a leader of all that. Last wow. year, Congress approved an Air Force proposal to retire 21 A-10s, oh, no. reducing the total fleet to 260, with plans to decommission the remaining planes in the next five to six years. Uh -huh. People don't realize how much maintenance actually goes into keeping these aircraft airworthy. You know, it's not like a car, you know. When we wake up in the morning, we jump in the car, start it, and drive, right? Mm. These have starting issues, they have leaks, they're 40, 50 years old. They all have somewhere between 13,000 to 15,000 flight hours on them. Uh, and that exceeds the actual life expectancy of the airframe by, you know, 5,000, 7,000 hours. A-10 critics may use the plane's maintenance issues to fuel their argument. Mm but the cost of maintaining the F-35 jumped 15% between 2018 and 2020. Oh ho. It's so what, what happens to you when you finish the training? Uh, once we all finish, we'll go to the different assigned bases, so I'll be going to Korea next. This is fun to fly. It does uh, a job that no one else does, and it's you're like, you're good at that. That is your thing, that's the A-10's thing. After completing the six-month training program at davis monthan Newly certified A-10 pilots will begin their careers as fighter pilots in the U.S. Air Force. The plane was built well before I was alive and knowing just like the generations of people that flew the plane before me were looking at the exact same gauges that I'm looking at. Mm. So it's, it's a pretty unique experience. I knew as like a younger child that I wanted to fly the A-10. My grandpa was in the Army. He has seen the A-10 like when he was in the Army do things and so that was even more just like a further drive to pursue the airplane. Wow, everybody knows us for the gun and its capabilities. A thing that we take most pride in as an A-10 community is protecting the lives of the men and women that are on the ground. This video I thought would be a very interesting video to know much more about A-10 Warthog but this was a bit of sad moment because we too fell in love with the A-10's design and everything and how 
it was supporting all the ground uh, troops like we have also seen a video where how people were how soldiers were so reliant on this plane on this fighter jet they could just they knew that okay they are in trouble they could just give a call and there will be like eight and warthog coming in and then they will brrr, and they will be killing everyone out there so this was the impact of this plane i know there are these f-35s and, and and bigger planes who could and modern planes who could do much better role but i think so the low flying role that it plays it is very very important and also it is low maintenance and low cost one so why do retire it but yes and if you want to make it so you can make an advanced version of it or make a new version of it rather than like building or retiring retiring them completely so yes but yes military has to like make sure they do it so what are your opinions about it do let us know in the comments seriously i also like this video so much and for me it resembles like a whale it has scary teeth and uh, uh, a pilot said that he is ugly but i didn't found him ugly i found him scary uh he uh he has a uh, sharp teeth just like a whale it feels that he is so strong and he can you know defeat the enemy so easily and uh when he you know I start working he uh, then the sound comes like burr burr from him and it was like the it was the sound of the you know bullets when it come out of the uh, that aircraft after that the uh, uh, pilots shared about their experience when when they drive the you know this giant A-10 and they said that it uh, a proper training is required for uh, uh, to you know uh, to drive this monster and and it uh, and i do think that firstly they uh, from this video we got to know that they firstly they train in the room only they uh, they have a you know uh, it's like they they just taking the theory classes but not the practical firstly they just do the uh, things uh, in the room only they have that brakes and all uh, brake and all gear and all some kind of thing uh, after that they uh, do practice in the room only but uh, when they get trained in that after that they went after they go in uh, to drive the uh, uh, a10 and it is not very easy to obviously uh, to drive this monster we uh, we got to know from this video and seriously i literally enjoy this video and most uh, uh, it's not like that only boys are participating in this even girls are also participating in uh, in this uh, which is you know very uh good thing about this video so yeah, i really like this video mm, yes i am also like also got to know a lot of things but yes there was a sad thing in this video so what do you guys feel about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.